Hey, welcome. Jeremy Colgrove here, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make this awesome metal grungy texture. So, let's jump over to a new scene. Let's start by adding a new material. You can add this add the material to whatever object you want to have the metal grungy texture be. We're going to start with a diffuse and a glossy setup. Pretty basic, something just like that. And then we're also going to mix in an anastropic there we are, shader, there we go. And now for the grunge. All we're gonna need to do is add in a texture coordinate tab, two textures, a musgrave, and a wave texture. There we go. We're going to change some settings on here now, so make sure you put the settings that I'm setting on yours so it'll look right. We're gonna turn our detail to 16. Our dimensions to 0.15. Our lucinarity, lucinarity, lucinarity to 2.2, like that. Our wave texture. We're going to turn it from bands to rings. We're going to turn our distortion to about 5 and our detail to about 6. Okay? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to add in a converter, separate XYZ. And we're going to separate the generated vector into its XYZ and then we're going to add in a combine XYZ and we're going to combine the X, the Z, and we're going to plug the factor from the Musgrave into the Y and plug the generated back into the vector of the Musgrave texture. And then connect that final vector to your wave like that. So now I have one texture that is our our uh, our grunge thing. So I'm going to what in the world? There we go. I'm going to make a group and I'm going to plug this color into the group so we have our outputs and inputs. So we need two outputs. We need our color and we're going to make another one and call it factor. Just like that. Now we're going to add a color ramp and set the colors that we want our grunge to be. Just make it some awesome grungy colors. This is where you get to be creative. That looks good. Sure, why not? And we're going to have our color from our wave texture go into our color ramp and then into the color. And then we're going to take the factor and plug it into the factor. Like that. Okay. Now for our inputs, we're going to need two inputs. Scale and amount. Okay, we're going to add two nath nodes, two math nodes. What we're going to do then is our, we're going to plug our scale into both of these. Now this one right down here for the wave texture is going to stay at 0.5 and this one right here we're going to put at 2. It's important that we keep the ratios between the two textures the same. So we're going to plug this value into our scale of our Musgrave and we're going to plug this one into the scale of our wave. And then the detail scale down here can just be the straight amount of the scale. There's no ratio disproportion there or whatever you want to call it. Okay, good. So that's our scale. All done, all set up. We have the scale of our of our grunge. Now just to set up the amount. The amount, what we need to do is we need to make two mix RGB nodes like this, put the colors into the bottom slots, and put the amount into the factor of these two mix nodes. Just like that. And that's it there. Oh, uh, make sure these right here are all the way white. The two colors here are white. Perfect. Now we can go out. Let's, we should probably name this. Name it Grunge. Cool. Now we're going to take our, grun our Grunge color and plug it into our Diffuse, our Glossy. We're going to make a math node, set it to multiply, and then plug the color into that, and then that into the, into the displacement. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Okay. And then our factor is going to go and be the factor between our anastropic and our diffuse and glossy setup. 
Also, we can put it into the roughness of the glossy to kind of give it a little extra touch. Beautiful. Now what we need to do is give it some scale. I'm going to set mine to 1, and I'm going to set my amount to 1 so we can see how it looks. There it is. Beautiful. Right out of the box. Not right out of the box, right off the bat. Is what you call it? Yeah, I think so. And this texture can be applied to anything. So if I select my ground here, and I select, I think it's just material. There, you can now see that our ground has this awesome, grungy texture. It's kind of self-explanatory, but yes. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and watch out for future tutorials. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.